Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today we are going to be talking about 4K gaming on the Xbox One and PS4. How close are we to that? We can tell by recent NVIDIA graphics cards. So, if you guys don't know, the 1080 and the 1070, um, I don't think they're fully released yet. I think the 1080 comes out before the 1070, uh, probably around the 21st or 22nd of this month. And But the 1070 is what I'm really curious about. Now, this is a uh, $300 to $400 graphics card that outperforms a $1,000 graphics card. So, if you guys don't understand what I'm trying to say here, is that the price to make a 4K graphics card is going down significantly. And I would say in the next two years, we might see a 4K graphics card for right around $100 for our consoles. I don't think PC is ever going to get that cheap where you could just have a, a $100 graphics card and be able to play any game you want to in 4K. I don't think that's how it works, but I do think with the 1070 and 1080, the prices that they are putting up are very, very good. And that makes me uh, very happy to see where console gaming is going because whether you guys know it or not, PC and console gaming are pretty much the same thing. A console is a computer, if you didn't know that. It's just a specialized computer that runs a certain operating system that performs certain tasks. So there's not too much of a difference between a normal PC and like an Xbox or a PlayStation 4. So I would say that these new graphics card technologies are going to trickle down into our consoles and give us 4K gaming. But that's only one piece of the puzzle. The second part are the monitors, the TVs, the things that are going to display 4K resolution. Do we have those yet? I don't think so. But I think prices are dropping pretty dramatically over the past year or so. I mean, I remember seeing like a 4K 50-inch TV for $10,000, $12,000. And then, you know, it's dropping down to maybe $1,000, $2,000. And I think that's going to keep on dropping until we get to our, uh, I, I would say, our five, dollars $600 price mark. And I think that's whenever people are going to start picking up 4K TVs. 4K monitors, on the other hand, are dramatically going down. They, I mean, you can pick up a 4K monitor for like three, three dollars $300. You could get that. Paired with a three to four hundred dollar graphics card, you could be 4K gaming in no time. And here's the thing: with 4K, we're not just getting 4K, but a graphics card that can produce 4K also is going to be very good with virtual reality. And as you know, PlayStation is already doing their PS4.5 virtual reality deal. We're gonna see how that goes. I don't really know if there's gonna be great 4k gameplay you know they say that they're going to upscale every game to 4k but i don't really see that actually happening and well actually looking good whenever it's happening i think it's going to be a lot like the xbox one how they upscale to 1080p on certain games such as black ops 3 and that's whenever i come to the conclusion of it kind of looks like saran wrap is over the screen compared to the ps4 graphics wise so i think that is what would happen if you go up to 4k although it's not going to look bad by any means because you're going up so much but native resolution 4k is going to be pretty cool on games but however say native resolution i really doubt that we're actually going to be playing in a native 4k resolution because text in game looking at your gun text reading the kn44 down on the bottom would just shoot your you would just your eyes would be gone i mean if you guys use anything that's 4k or anything that's close to 4k like a right in a mat book, rack book, uh, you got 4K monitors for your PC. You know you cannot view that in native resolution. Everything is so small, but you have a ton of real estate. I think that's going to be what it's like in console gaming. 1080p is a very nice, uh, very nice place for games and gaming consoles because one, it's it's easy to make, and everyone or most everyone has a 1080p monitor or TV, and if they don't, it's very cheap to pick up. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me what you guys think. How close do you think we are at 4K gaming in a console? So let me tell you guys something real quick about this game. This is Game Battles. 
uh, were playing this team. I think uh, we ended up beating them. I cannot remember their rank. I think they were fresh. They were 0-0. Zero and zero. But uh, one guy, he, he's been playing game battles for a while. So it was a pretty good game. They had us there at the beginning. It was 0-3. We brought it all the way back up. And then it came to 5-5. Five, five. And check out this. Come on, teams. Never run right beside each other. Peace.